De La Wright, my envies. Welcome. Queen Naomi is rumored to have zoomed off, leaving Toby at the Royal Mansion gate in Lagos um, with the uncle inside a vehicle after they came seeking Queen Naomi's um, presence and seeking Queen Naomi's help over the fact that the Oni of Ife approved Olori Toby's best friend as her a PA. Report reaching us right now is that Olori Toby had gone to seek Queen Naomi's help over what is going on. That she is really, really devastated right now over the fact that Kabiesi went ahead and made her best friend um, allegedly um, his PA. Now, this best friend is a woman that seeks Queen Na um, 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 Olori Toby's downfall. The best friend is a woman that is so envious and she is ready to collect everything that belongs to Olori um, Toby. Because if she had been a good friend, she she would not be going back and forth with the Oni of Ife. And this is a, a very big lesson to a lot of people. Please, sorry about that noise. I am outside. Um, uh, this is a very big lesson to a lot of people, uh, especially the young ones, young people. You know, when we have um, um, what we cherish so much, forget about bringing these things, um, uh, bringing your friends in and all of that. If you must bring a friend in, you must trust that friend with the, your life because people are terrible. This lady we are talking about now, from what we are hearing, had no connection to the Oni of Ife, never knew Oni of Ife for her. And nobody would have even allowed her go close to the Oni of Ife, not a, uh, unless they met on their own. The relationship she has with the Oni of Ife now is a relationship that was born out of her friendship with Olori Toby. And right now, um, they said KBSC has made the girl, allegedly as it is rumored, okay? If all the information we keep getting on social media is true, that KBSC has made the Olori Toby's best friend friend, um, his PA, and also uh, approve the proposition the lady came with. If you know from the trajectory of events of... Um um, um, with the Oni of Ife. Oni of Ife is a, is a king that likes to um, kind of um, um, uh, upgrade people, like make them strong. You know, this adage that says, um, uh, teach them how to fish and not give them fish. That's the kind of uh, king Oni of Ife is. When Oni of Ife sees a young person who is struggling to survive, who is struggling to become something, he's always willing to support that person. Now, they say he started just because that girl um, happens to be Toby's friend. But right now, the girl has fallen in love with the Oni of Ife. The girl is not letting Oni of Ife be. They say the girl is going back and forth, back and forth with the Oni of Ife and all of that. Now, remember that we heard the other time, as it was rumored, that Toby had had this conversation with Olori Naomi. And Olori Naomi told Toby that Oni of Ife is um, um, a king, and an African king at that, that um, um, uh, they should allow Oni of Ife enjoy himself and marry as many wives as possible. And when I heard that, I said, kudos to our beautiful queen, Olori Naomi, God bless you so much. You know that uh, my biggest prayer for Olori Naomi is that Olori Naomi Will, will listen to counsel, which she has always done, and understand that, yes, so, uh, if she is going back to the palace, she has to bear in mind that Oni of Ife might marry again, and she also has to bear in mind that, no matter what happened, Kabiesi loves her so much. She is the main thing. She is indeed the main deal. Because after everything that has happened, with Olori Tobi having twins for the Oni of Ife, Oni of Ife still holds now me this, you know, um, this 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 important then it means that the relationship between Oni of Ife and Queen Naomi is on parallel like it's something that nobody nobody just nobody will be able to you ruin so right now they said that um um Olori Toby after uh, she was uh, brought out from the hospital that she felt so bad so what she did now was she carried her uncle and they went to go and meet with Olori Naomi but at that time they said Naomi was um, uh, being driven out of the royal mansion like she was going out okay to meet up with an appointment and so they say sorry about that noise though i am outside so they said that allegedly as it is rumored that as she got to the, her second gate there at the royal mansion that she realized that there was a car parked there because they've been calling her but because she was rushing to meet up with that appointment she was not picking that's the security 
And when she looked inside, she saw that. When they won down, she saw that it was Olori Tobi. They said she just won up and spat out. Like she just zoomed off. Like they should go. And then that was when Toby started calling Olori Naomi that Olori Naomi was in her car when Toby started calling. And Naomi was telling Olori um, Toby that what is the problem? What is it now? What is it? Why can't I rest? What is the problem? They said that was the question she was asking. And that Toby was crying and saying that she really needs to see um, Naomi, that she really needs to see Naomi. And they said, Naomi said to Toby that I know exactly what you want to see me for. You want to see me because of your friend who was made PA by KBSE. KBSE has the right to make anybody PA. KBSE has the right to make anybody his wife or anything that is KBSE's prerogative to decide what he wants to do. Have they forgotten that he is he's still the African king who can marry as many wives as possible? Now, you know that what goes around comes around it's good that you know we are seeing these things play out um, um by the day and um, this way a lot of people will understand that whatever you sow happens to be what you reap at the end of the day welcome back to my channel it's your girl de la Rama. i bring you fresh and spicy juice from the sauce it's still on the royals how are you doing i appreciate you i love you i thank you Esheo adupe oh my people Thank you for being here. Thank you for being so supportive. I would never take your support for granted. I love you guys so much. Thank you. It's not a small thing. No. It's not a small thing at all as we are hearing. They said Olori Naomi told Toby to leave him alone. Leave her alone. That they should learn how to deal with their problems without bringing, um, yeah, bringing, bringing her in. That they were the ones who started this in the first place. They were the ones who told the only of affair that it is just okay to get married to as many wives as possible. When they were doing it, it was okay. But right now that people want to get access to the only of affair, it has become a problem. Why is it a problem? It's only no longer that African king that can marry as many wives as possible. And this is the same reason why I say I am so happy with the fact that Naomi has become more mature. The thing that it was a um, few years ago when Oni married Naomi, when Naomi was just naive and she didn't know. I believe that if Naomi had been this matured in the palace two years ago, she wouldn't have left that, 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 that palace. She would never have left. Right now, she has great um, um, uh, counsel, people who are counseling her well, people who are telling her what to do and what not to do. Now, Naomi is beginning to see people for who they truly are. She's not being as trusting as she used to be. Naomi told them to leave her alone, that she's not going to, because basically Toby wants her to talk to the Oni of Ife, to, to, to abort that mission with that girl that she does not want that girl to be um, anything to the only of affair. She does not want that girl to be part of their life. Does not want that girl to be only of affair's PA. Does not want that girl to have anything to do with the only of affair. And they said, um, uh, um, um, uh, Olori Nami was saying, why? That can Toby give a reason why um, uh, she would not want the girl to be only of his PA? That Toby needs to understand that it's not her decision to make. It's Kabiasi's decision to make. The Kabiasi wants that girl to be um, um, uh, uh, his PA. Nobody can stop it. That Toby should stop troubling herself. And Toby should leave her out of any problem. That he should go and deal with um, the problem with her husband and leave her alone. That this coming every time coming to the royal mansion is she not feeling embarrassed that she's not entering the royal mansion? That it has it is is enough that she has had enough, and they said she was practically like literally begging Nami to come back so they can see. And Nami says she's not coming back anywhere. That they should leave her the hell alone, as it is alleged. I'm going to bring you more update. I appreciate you so much. Thank you.